Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Thank you. I'm fantastic. Uh, First off, I love this. And so congratulations on it because it is a, just such a fun, just fascinating, uh, you know, show. Um, My first question is for Maisie. um, And it actually relates to the shirt you're wearing right now, which is perfect. (laughs) Your first scene, you're like your introductory scene is amazing um, and really bold. Um, What did it feel like? Like, is the ability to play a character like that who just does not care, who's always pushing boundaries, is there something freeing about that? Like that gets you to push past any fears as as an actor? Yeah, absolutely. I felt, um, I felt like my uh, presence alone whilst dressed as Jordan yeah. it's like enough to make people kind of um, like forget what they were coming over to say or like need to sort of avert their eyes and it's like not really a way that I've been greeted before and so it just mm-hmm. like was very very interesting to see the way that you can like dress and how that the way that you dress can affect the way that people mm-hmm communicate with you or like approach you um and it's such an incredible uh opening for her for for jordan but this is what she did this is like you know she would ride the train and they would take her into first class because people would be so awful to her people would be so confrontational and so angry with her and they wanted to you know protect her because um you know she would ride the train every single day to go up to work Mm -hmm. uh so yeah an incredible opening but like you know historically accurate she was she was an incredible woman Mm -hmm. and then but all three of you in your ways you know in the show kind of push boundaries uh, at a time that wasn't always really kind to women um like Tallulah for for Vivian Westwood um she has such a great scene where she screams at Malcolm that she wants to just burn, you know, burn the city to the ground, right? And chariot and burn it to the ground. And then Sydney, even though Chrissy's a little bit more, um, uh, she's a little bit more level-headed, I think, uh, compared to most of the other characters. Like she's the one that kind of looks around and you know keeps everything um, on an even keel. In her own way, Chrissy was really trying to kind of break down walls in the in the musical industry too at the time. Do you find that kind of after you two have played these characters that it it has kind of inspired you to do that in your own lives as well? Um, I I do, yeah. I I feel like the beauty of being able to play someone like Chrissy, um, it's being in the skin of a character who is really mm-hmm. confident um, in herself but really has her own back, um, mm-hmm. is is there for herself and and believes in herself. Um, you know, keeps pushing and, and keeps going. That was really helpful for me, and I, I like to think that I've been able to keep a piece of that with me. Um, mm-hmm. And so that that's a really that was a really nice thing to be able to to kind of create and then inhabit and, and keep as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then to Lola, what about for you too? I really admire Vivian's work ethic. I mean, the, you see her every day at home. She's mm-hmm. raising two children, and she's you yeah. know making um, all of the products to sell in the shop and, and trying to make Malcolm McLaren's vision a reality. But she's the one doing the doing and all of the hard work, and mm-hmm. all of the pressure falls on her. And but she, it's her life, and she does it and makes it work. And I think that's quite inspiring. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think there's something really special about the show too, because for all three of these characters, we kind of all seen them, but because they were a generation ago, we see them as kind of frozen static images. And so, you know, anybody can answer this question. Um, Is there something that you feel that's a little bit more meaningful about bringing these sort of characters to life in a way that they really feel lived and real? I I think it's, like we all acknowledge that you know this isn't we're not going for historical accuracy yeah. we are storytelling yeah. to an extent yeah. you know so it's a fictionalized version of what yeah. was occurring at the mm-hmm. time as it as it must be um just because you know we we've been discussing the this sort of the weight of responsibility that comes with i've never played a person who exists in the mm-hmm. real world before mm-hmm. um and so you 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 don't i don't want to say you know this is definitively vivian westwood yeah. or, or what she did or mm. um it, it did feel like we would 
we would try to find just like the humanity in it all, right? Mm. We had like a preconceived idea of so many of the characters and so many of the relationships. Mm -hmm. And we were, you know, we were telling something that was fictional. And so I think it was just like trying to understand the decisions that we did know and the things that we did witness and understand like what, what goes into, you know, what goes into that decision and like how do you, you know, portray someone and, and give them their own kind of like thoughts and feelings and actions, um, uh, you know, whilst also kind of like knitting into the, the parts of the story that we do know are, are accurate. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's just like, you know, that searching that you do as an actor, it's like in any role really. And so much of it was there on the page with the writing yes. as well, which is so nice to just lean on as actors because Craig's done. <laughs> yeah, all of the characters are so developed on the page. It mm. just gives you so much to, to bite into. Mm -hmm. And then we had such a great research team yeah. um, for the show as well. So that was a really, really fun part I think, yeah. of just diving in and, and learning. And like, to your point, you know, Vivian Westwood now is is a you know a huge icon, but seeing the archive footage and seeing her you know, the sort of origin story of her in yeah. the sex boutique and, and how she spoke then and was then as opposed to, you know, the grand dame that she is now yeah. is, is fascinating. It yeah. reminds you that they're just humans before, you yeah. know, they're also yeah. just humans. And your point yeah. earlier about um, they were just kids, really. The, yeah. Yeah, the band and Chrissy. Yeah, they had no idea that they would make it, you know, mm. make yeah. anything, and they still kept going. Um, yeah. mm. Well, it was, it's an amazing show and uh, I, I really think people are going to, going to love it. And all three of you are fantastic in it. So I've, I've been having so much fun watching it. So congratulations again. And I'm really looking forward to people seeing it.